As you go out to recreate, you should really consider whether or not you should or should not have a campfire. Some of those factors include the local fire danger where you plan on recreating and also checking whether or not there are fire restrictions, campfire restrictions in that area. You can find both of that information at utahfireinfo.gov. Another thing to consider when you're on location about whether or not you should have a campfire is if there is adequate tools um, and supplies needed to fully extinguish the campfire, if you're gonna have one, the site should be clear of all vegetation, both on the ground and any overhanging trees or branches. We wanna make sure that we don't create any new fire rings. Make sure you use uh, existing fire pits um, or fire rings. Even if we create a fire ring that still leaves an imprint, whether it's the scorched rocks or the uh, ash, and we want other people to come after us to have the same experience that we did. Remember the four D's of firewood collection. Dead, down, dinky, and that's because larger branches or stumps and logs provide habitat for wildlife. And, and the fourth is to walk a distance away from your campground. Collect from just a greater radius than you typically would. We want to keep the environment looking natural. Some areas won't have any firewood available, so you may need to bring your own if you're wanting to create a campfire. Purchase locally within a 50 mile radius to avoid introducing invasive species to the area. So if there's no pre-existing fire pits or fire rings nearby, what we're going to want to do is use either a fire pan or create a mound fire. So when using a fire pan, we're going to want to either keep this on a fire blanket or keep this elevated on rocks, logs, or some kind of mechanism that may come with the fire pan itself. Uh, the reason we wanna do this is that even though we may not see damage, it could be damaging root systems underneath it. To create a mound fire, we pile mineral soil about three to five inches thick on the fire blanket. We want the circumference of the mound to be larger than the size of the fire to allow for the spreading of coals. When you are properly extinguishing your campfire, the three rules are drown, stir, and feel with the back of your hand. If there's any heat, if it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. There are modern alternatives to creating campfires as well, such as using a camp stove, many of which are small enough to fit in your pocket, or even using a propane fire pit.